What's up YouTube? This is Jeremiah James. I recently had a subscriber request on how to use the circle of fifths to help build chord progressions in songs. What I was just playing there is a little demo of a piece that I am working on. Um, I did use the circle of fifths a little bit, not entirely, but I just wanted to throw that out there, see what you guys think. So if that sounded cool, let me know. Um, been working on writing some songs and that's a little piece of one of those songs, like I said. So, going back to the circle of fifths, I know there's a ton of information out there regarding the subject on how to use the circle of fists to write chord progressions, etc. Um, but I wanted to do this for my subscribers. I have people requesting information, and that's really what I want to gear my YouTube channel towards. So if you guys have anything that you want to know that other people don't explain, go ahead and comment below, and I'll give it my best shot to help you guys. So let's make this as simple as possible, having said that here. So I'm going to put the, cir the circle of fists chart right up here. Um, and kind of talk to it and then we'll play and show you how you can build chord progressions based on that circle of fists. So I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on the circle of fists. I already have a video up on how to memorize it without actually using any acronyms or anything. All you have to do is be able to count to seven and say A through G. So I'll put the link up there and you can uh, refer to that video if you don't know how to use the circle of fists or make one from scratch. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just pretend we're in a key. Everybody picks the key of C because it's the easiest. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick the key of C. So if I'm in the key of C and we're looking at the circle of fifths, I can move to a G chord, which would be my fifth of C. Or I could go to an F chord, and that would be going back, and that happens to be the fourth of C. It's the fourth of C because it's five half steps up, which makes a fourth and it's seven half steps up from a C to get to a G, which makes the fifth. So if you're looking at the circle of fifths right off the bat, you can see your one, four, and five. And those are gonna be the major chords of the key that you're in. If you're also looking at the circle of fifths, you can see that the relative minor, which in this case, in the key of C, would be an A minor, will be your sixth minor, because C, D is two, E is three, F is four, G is five, and A would be 6, and that is the 6th minor. So there's four chords already that you can use from the circle of fifths, and you can use those to start building songs and chord progressions. So for example, you go C, go right up to that 6th minor, A minor, go to, uh, we can go to 4th here, that would be our F chord to a G. One variation, or we could do it this way. We could go A minor F uh, to an F to a C to a G. So all those chords are part of the key of C, and they're all helping to develop your ear and bring leading tones that make you want to resolve on that C chord, and that's a huge part of how music is set up is setting up leading tones that make your ear want to hear something and that's just western pop music that's how it how it works so that's one way you can use the circle of fifths um, an easier way to think about all this is just pick that key and assign a, a numeric value to it so C would be one right then D minor would be two because two and three are minors of the key that you pick so D is one up from C, which makes it two, and we know that it's a minor chord, so you'd have D minor. Now if we keep going up, our third chord would be an E minor, because E would be the third, and we know it's minor, because two and three are minors of the key that you're in. Okay, so now we have C, D minor, E minor, F, G, and A minor. So there's six chords. Uh, you could also play a B diminished chord, but we're going to just focus on major and minor chords for the purpose of this lesson. So that gives you six chords to work with, and that's not necessarily using the circle of fifths, but if you just remember that one, four, and five are your major chords, and two, three, and six are your minor chords, that's going to open up a whole world of opportunity for you to string together some chord progressions and start making songs. So that's one easy way to do it. Um, Let's just pick a key again. Let's pick G, 
and kind of demonstrate that. So if I'm in the key of G, what's our second minor going to be? It's going to be a A minor because I went up to A, which is the second of G, and we just know that two and three are minor chords. Okay, so then what's the third minor? The third minor is a B minor chord. What's our fourth chord? Is it minor or major? Damn, we got some crazy rain going out here. Uh, fourth chord is going to be major. So if I count up from G, G is my window's gonna blow out over here. Uh, if I count up from G, what do I live in Portland? Come on, California, what's this crazy rain? Um, counting up from G, I've got G is one, A minor would be two, B minor would be three, and four would be C major. All right, and that would mean that D is our major five, and finally E minor is our sixth minor. Okay, so using all those chords, we've got our G, A minor, B minor, C, D, and our E minor. Those are our three major and minor chords of the key G. Let's string together some progressions. Um, I'm not going to talk about modulation in this video. If you want to see how to use the circle of fifths to modulate, I will save that for another lesson. Um, just go ahead and comment below if that's something you do want to see. But let's use these chords here. So let's just start on G. Let's go to our fifth, D, A minor. how I use that D chord to be the second to last chord because D is the fifth of G which has the strongest pull back to G. It's got this F sharp note in it which is creating that leading tone for your G chord to signify to your ear that the song is over. You are approaching the one chord which is the key and has resolved the song. So that's a little bit of music theory for you, hopefully. All right, so that's going to be it for this lesson. Hopefully that helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what I can do. I'm always listening for feedback. If you guys have anything else you want to learn about, feel free to comment below. If you guys like these videos, make sure to subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.